Makiba. Hi, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Well, Emma Yaxi Cornaldi portrays Frances Davis in the film Miles Ahead, the Miles Davis biopic directed by and starting Don Cheadle. Frances was married to music icon Miles Davis from 1958 through 1968, and it was during that period that he released several of his signature recordings, including the groundbreaking Sketches of Spain and Someday My Prince Will Come. Miles Ahead is available on Blu-ray, DVD, and digital this week from Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. And joining me now to talk more about it is the real-life Frances Davis, as well as Emily Yaxi Cornaldi, the critically acclaimed actress who portrays Frances in the film. Thank you so much for joining me today. No, thank okay. you for having us. Now, first, Frances, what was your initial reaction when you learned about the making of the film and your portrayal? Well, I was really happy because it's been an ongoing project uh, with many different producers since 1993. It was first Yetnikoff, and there was Marvin Worth, and I signed with Columbia Pictures. And when I f heard that the Mouse Davis estate was taking over and uh, Don Cheadle was joining to produce, direct, and play, portray Miles, it was really absolutely exciting to know at last it was going to come to pass and we would see and I would be portrayed on the big screen by this lovely Emma Yatsi. And so <laughs> you could imagine, I mean, after all these years and, and, and it's happening, it was quite incredible. Incredible indeed. Now, during your courtship and marriage, you served as Miles' muse. Can you share a little bit more about what those years were like for you and what viewers of the film will see about that time in your life? Well, to tell you the truth, uh, Miles and I were very in love with each other. I gave up my career to be with him. I mean, there were, it, we had a wonderful time together. Uh, many times I would tour with him, whether it be in Sweden, in and, and, and France, uh, also Japan. Uh, and then there were times when the drugs took over and it, it became difficult living with him. But I always said, this too shall pass. He will get over it, and we will go on. I was with him for nine years. I rehearsed for four, I call it, and I married for five. <laughs> but I, I, I kept saying that this, this too shall pass. He, he will be fine. But sometimes when the drug scene is too much, uh, it gets too much, and you have to leave. But the good times were really good and the bad times were not good. But I survived, and here I am to tell you about That's it. That's right. Yes, absolutely. Now, you did mention that you gave up your career um, for a mouse. Can you tell us um, about your life now, and how's your life and career at this point? Well, right now, uh, I'm a great grandmother, honey. I mean, mm -hmm. I had my career. <laughs> I That's toured right. all over the world. I mean, I started out in classical ballet, when I was eight, I was on a point when I was 10, I was performing the Swan Lake Ballet by the time I was 16. I got a scholarship to the Catherine Dunham School, joined her company uh, in Paris, and was asked to perform with the Paris Opera Ballet. I mean, it was fantastic. Touring with Dunham all over Europe and South America, and then later doing uh, Broadway theater, four Broadway shows, the last one being West Side Story. And that's when I was with Miles, and that's when he came to the theater and said to me, a woman should be with her man. I want you out of West Side Story. I gave it up and became the wife, the housewife. Having done all of these wonderful things in my career, it, it was difficult, but I was in love with him. So I did as he said. Yes, I understand. Oh, what a wonderful life that you just gave us a recap on for sure. Yes. Now, Emma Yatsi, what was it like for you to play Francis in the film, and how did you prepare for the role? It was really a, a, an honor for me to be able to to portray Francis. Um, she was a woman who, like you just heard her say, you know, really had her own career and was successful in her own right. Um, and I thought that that was so wonderful, especially given the time period. Um, for a black woman at that time to have climbed the ranks, you know, as she did. It was, it was really remarkable. 
Um, and so it was important to me that that was portrayed and it was something that I just thought was so wonderful. And I think just her whole through line was, was something of courage. She carried this courage with her from the beginning, you know, to have the courage to, to seek out that career, to have the courage to fight the barriers that were trying to stop her from that career, and then to have the courage to, to love and to be with Miles as she was, and then to have the courage to leave. You know, that was very consistent in her life, and it was really an honor for me to be able to portray her in that way. Yes, and you did. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> There's a lot of, definitely a lot of courage and strength there. Now, what was it like for you to work with Don Cheadle on the film? Oh, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. He's, he's such a grounded actor. Um, everything that he is as an actor that we know about him and love and, and respect about him, um, he's really someone who, who cherishes the craft. He is that same way as a director. Um, he, he carried it over and was very seamless in that sense. Um, it was really a wonderful time, and I really look forward to having that opportunity again because Don, um, he's just such a professional. He's such a professional, and he has such an ease about what he does. It was really wonderful to work opposite him in that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. And I'm also, for the two of you, for those who have yet to see the film, what do you think that the DVD viewers will be most surprised to learn about Miles' life and career? Mm. Um, those who haven't seen, or maybe those who don't even really know who Miles is, yeah. this uh, movie tells it all. You know, from the 50s, I mean, the flashbacks and the 70s. I mean, the 70s, I didn't really know about. Mm -hmm. So it was a learning experience for me what went down then. So it, it's a whole learning experience of this genius and, and how his life turned heads, really. Right, and, which I think is, is, so, is so great about what Don was able to capture with that. He had these two, you know, time frames that he was able to take pieces of and, and, and put and them put together, together into one cohesive story. And it really gives you a wonderful glimpse into a day in his life, who he was, um, and the different forces that he was fighting with. Right. You get to see it all. Oh, wow, that sounds amazing. I'm quite sure viewers would be looking forward to that. And lastly, if you could choose only one thing for new viewers to take away from watching the film about um, your life, Francis, or Miles' life, or your time together, what would it be? Well, our time together definitely was love. And continue no matter what our passions in our different careers and our love for each other and that's what one should always keep in mind that's what I have done that's beautiful indeed yeah. well the film is phenomenal and I'm sure that new viewers will love it just as much as I do you all okay. did a wonderful job and be sure to get your copy of Miles Ahead available right now on Blu-ray and DVD and digital from Sony Pictures Home Entertainment. Thank you so much, you two, for joining me again today. It's been a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. <clears throat> Have a wonderful day. You too.